welcome to episode number two of the Techapreneur Hour with Kevin and Pat. I'm your I'm your host, Pat, and I'm Kevin. And here we go again, man. Yeah. I mentioned that you're three three month business anniversary. How does that how does that feel? Yeah. Um it's it's surreal. It's 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 a it's it's a lot. It's it, you can't even appreciate it because yeah. there's so much to learn. You you're doing stuff every every day, you know. Um, it's, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, to make it three months, man. I mean, you did something right, so you know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of pre planning. A lot of pre planning. We got plenty of cop podcasts to get over that. <laughs> get on that. I think it was probably that power walk in the mall. That's probably what did it there. <laughs> Amen. But anyways, yeah. So uh, I'm going to get started with uh, something I came across. The Google Home. It came out with a feature that you can speak a command and you can actually predate it and like post it in the future. So let's say turn on my lights at three o'clock tomorrow morning and it'll actually turn them on at it's the time you schedule it. So I feel like that's, that's, that's pretty kind of cool. cool. Yeah. I mean, Alexis, pretty, I mean, yeah. yeah, that's a, I could I could see that working with yeah. some things like kind of like an alarm, an ad hoc alarm. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll actually work with any devices connected to the Google home. So whether it be like cameras or, you know, and anything is, yeah. So, I mean, I, I find that pretty cool. cool. It's saying here, it includes video I don't doorbells. I even has anything like Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. No, it says here it includes video doorbells, outdoor cameras, um, lights, like all that stuff. So I don't mm -hmm. know how exactly that would work, but yeah, I find that pretty, pretty fascinating. Well, I mean, the only thing about Google is, man, they're so, dude, they're so far behind in the race when it comes to Google and Alexa. Like, I mean, even though that feature is pretty cool, like that, that's actually, that's actually pretty good. And it, and it came out with, uh, location-based stuff like a couple of months ago too yeah. uh but i mean alexa they, i mean yeah 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 who's exactly messing with right. the juggernaut like <laughs> <laughs> exactly you know, and the other thing is too like i was thinking like let's say like just past the holidays and stuff right you can say turn on my christmas lights at seven o'clock at night and just forget about it so i mean that's yeah right. exactly you know and then it's pretty sweet yeah yeah, yeah. Schedules and stuff like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they're, uh, I just seen the Google TV as well. I seen you got one. What are you, what are you thinking of it? I, I haven't even got a chance to play with it yet. Like what no. I got from it so far is just like everybody shows, this is magical. Like, you know, just how yeah. Alexa had theirs, that Google, I mean, that Google speak button to not say the wake word. Uh, I think it's crucial when it comes yeah. to a lot of this voice command stuff like that. Like, I mean, yeah, 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 sure. You got to keep the remote in your pocket or somewhere on your person. But, yeah, yeah. you know, the, the, it takes a lot to say, you know, high Bixby, you know, whatever, whatever. And, you know, people have to yeah, remember yeah. all this stuff. And it's like the less things, the better. And then remotes are more intuitive, too. So, you know. Exactly. Exactly. So you haven't so you haven't plugged it in yet or? I turned it on and I played it with it on YouTube, but I, I have it hooked up to my um my monitor here, but it's not like a smart TV. And yeah. from what I understand, it integrates with your smart TV. So like all the little apps that, you know, people have on their uh, TVs, it sort of, you know, signs into all of them and does all that stuff. So you don't ever have to, you know, need another remote again. So, I mean, no. I mean, I, this is just my test bed though. But yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the interface any different or anything or? Say it again. Is the interface any different? Okay, first of all, I don't know why I just turned my head to the speakers or the TV knowing <laughs> that I have headphones on. But yeah, the interface yeah. is really, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's really um, uh, 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 Fire TV-esque, real Fire, okay. very Fire TV-esque yep. with like a, uh, it kind of looks like a little bit like Android TV. I don't know if you mess with like different stuff like Kodi, like yeah, the, yeah. they got these yep. Chinese manufacturers and stuff like that. Uh, more polished than that, but a nicer skin than the Fire TV from what I see. Um, okay. 
I, you know, I'm, I'm wondering if you can side, you know, by uh, side loading applications on that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know of it. I'm not really sure, like Google TV and everything, but yeah, no, I know you can sideload things in certain. I gotta find that out because certain things, yeah. Um, the one thing I did, I did see though, they integrated Stadia with it. From when I, I guess, from what I understand. Sweet, I heard that. I heard yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, if you have the Stadia, like you. So I guess you get another. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, I like you can, I guess, just pick up the controller and play it like, straight from the Google TV. So that's that's pretty sweet. I mean, you get two in one, right? Right. Yeah. You get the uh, what is it? They, I think the Stadia comes with that uh, that Chromecast Ultra um, yep. uh, 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 dongle, and then you have this other one that's basically like the Chromecast Ultra, and it's got yeah. I think it's got like a you know Dolby Atmos and all this other flashy oh, flashy yeah. stuff on it. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Now, uh, so one thing I've been actually trying to figure out this week, and I've been talking to you about it, is uh, ambient lighting. It's really throwing me for a loop. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what you so, got I mean, going on, man? Well, I got uh, got a gentleman con- contact me, and he has just like a whole, I'd say, man cave. It wouldn't really. A theater at this point, but it's more or less a main cave. And he wants it mm. surrounding the TV. He wants it surrounding the ceiling and the couch. Um, and now, from what I understand, it can only go, I believe, it's 164 feet. So that's where I'm facing kind of roadblocks. But yeah, no, I mean, it's all, I know there's electrical things to do with it and currents and all that, all that junk, right? So yeah oh yeah. boy yeah. um i don't know do you have any experience okay with... so how much is his budget how much is he working with um well from what i've been told it's about i'd say about a thousand but i mean i feel mm. like that's gonna that's gonna go up the more and more we progress right so oh yeah yeah we going up we going yeah. we going way up um yeah. i'm thinking like okay, so the go-to is uh, uh, the the Philips Hue Sync Box, from what I remember. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's the the easiest one to set up. It only has uh, six channels um, um, of ambient lighting that it can uh, hook up to, from what I understand. Um, yeah. yeah. The thing with it is, there's a, a, a kind of a, a one piece lighting strip around it. Um, but you're saying, well, I'm sorry, I'm I'm all, I'm all getting into the the the. the, the the schematics of it and everything like that. But your biggest problem is what again? Like that the it's uh 164 the, feet the size of this uh no so the the apparently the maximum you can run a light strip <laughs> is 164 feet. Mm. So after that apparently you need to connect other power supplies and things like that. So that's the max length that you can run one one strip be 164 feet. So so how's this? So how's this hooking up? Is the sync box going to be? Because the way I'm thinking, uh, it, correct me if I'm wrong. The way I'm thinking of it is, you know, the sync box goes to the light strip, which goes to you know whatever you're supposed to be um, yeah. uh, casting. Uh, and you're saying so this, the the sync the sync box is going to be more than 164 feet from the 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 light strip in the uh, the you know the back of the monitor. Exactly, because I haven't really went to measure yet. But from what I'm getting is, I'd say it's about around the room at least 200 plus feet so that's a big room it is yeah that's a really and there, big there's room. a lot of weird angles and things of that nature so i feel like i'll need to i need some excess right see i figure we need to start talking more during the week i wish i would have seen some pictures of this man <laughs> i to get some get some good detail for you yeah, yeah, yeah i mean can you make i mean what would i do i would you know just i'm just spitballing here you know yep. um you, I would make it work uh, to his, um, I mean, to, you know, if, can, can you move one of his, I mean, can you move his TV or something like that? Or like, you know, it's, can you it's already mounted at the wall. Something? There's speakers mm-hmm. mounted next to it. And like, it's the theater part of it's already set up. So, I mean, I'm working with things that are already in place, right? You sound like you might need to, I mean, see if it's possible off the bat but then you know you check some of those uh, cheaper Chinese uh, 
uh, knockoff versions of it. If I can, I, I can't remember them offhand right now. Give me a second. Uh, yeah. I think it's Govi, um, and I can't remember the other one, Ambilight, yeah. but I wouldn't go with Ambilight because uh, it's uh, uh, not not really yeah, see, the that thing good. Is like, the reason why I like them, go ahead. Yeah, there like there is, or should I say there there was companies that existed like before this whole pandemic, right? And they actually did exactly that. Like it was ambient lighting. Um mm -hmm. they connected through HDMI. So it was essentially exactly what I was looking for. And right. unfortunately most of these companies closed shop right before the pandemic started. So I mean there's essentially I'm out of luck with that. Um Amazon's no dice at all. Um the only thing I found was the one that you mentioned, the Gobi. No, I didn't so, see nothing on Amazon. Yeah. Right, right. So, yeah, essentially back to square it's one. It's got to be something point. we need to look into. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, there must be a company at, at somewhere in the world that actually does ambient lighting through HDMI, apart from Philips Hue, I'd imagine. All right, so. If anybody's listening to us, is there any <laughs> ambient lighting strip that is not as expensive um, as uh, uh, Philips Hue, and that is all encompassing. You know, uh, I think yeah. the market needs that because people love that exactly. immersive look with those ambient yeah. lights, man. Exactly, and I mean, there's like there is solutions where they're like extremely professional that they need electricians and you know that whole thing, like plans and the whole nine yards. Right. But I mean, Wire that's not something that. And all that stuff. Yeah, not every market can actually afford that, right? So you need, you need something yeah. that's semi-affordable for everybody. Right, right. Yeah, and I mean, with that, that's got to come. That's like, you know, that's like TVs in general. Like, you know, back in when plasma TVs were the first flat TVs and they were like $2,000 for like 46 inches or something like yeah. that, you know? <laughs> exactly. And then those yeah. prices come yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I mean, it's been, it's definitely been a struggle trying to find these light strips. It's like the only thing that's I actually part of need the, is. That's part of the thing, man. Exactly. I just need that HDMI connection and then it'd be golden. But yeah, so. Yeah. How, uh, how's your, how's your business week been going? Busy. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know what, dude, I don't, that's why I don't have a lot of energy to, uh, on this podcast today. I didn't even get a good nap today. I no I get the it. advertising. Yeah, like I, I it's it's not even about the business. It's about the the business of not when you're not doing the business. Like I told you, the advertising is uh um a lot. And it's it's what you should be doing yeah. when you're not doing business. Um and I, I just happen to be crazy and I'm 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 still doing something else. And so I do these weird things like I ran around the mall. Um, King of Prussia Mall is in uh, uh, just outside of Philadelphia. It's the, now the biggest mall in America, Beat Mall of America uh, in 2019. But yeah. um, so mm -hmm. on a Saturday, you go know, running around through the mall with your shirt on. I had my little, I had this shirt as a little skirt with my little uh, Houston's Home Automation on the front and back. And yeah. I'm, I was doing like a weird sort of strut through the whole mall. And I did it for like, it wasn't 15 miles. It was like more like 12 until my glasses ran out of juice and my audio book stopped. <laughs> and so I went back to the car, but yeah, you know, it was, it was stupid, but you know, I did, I was doing weird things while I was doing it. Like every, you know, couple miles or so I would check social media and everything like that. And yeah. you would see, uh, if you go on your business page, there's like uh, some buttons that say post engagements, post exactly. reach views yeah. and stuff like that. And I would see my views just sort of go up organically just by yeah. doing that. It just, it, it just, Houston's home automation, like us on Facebook, weird, weird dude with a goofy beard walking around the mall like this, for whatever reason, you know, it, cause it's cheaper. If you think about it, it's cheaper than, you know, uh, stuff in flyers and mailboxes, which, you know, yeah. you, you know, what you are, you know, are doing, you said you would start oh, yeah. doing, um, from last week. I, yeah, but I actually, how's uh, that going? Yeah, I, I just, so I started that way. Um, as I told you in the last podcast, though, that was kind of, that was kind of blown. It wasn't really productive at all. Um, zero leads from it, so it was yep. pretty much dry. Um, yep. So I actually posted on Facebook Marketplace 
um, and I niched it essentially. So it was essentially, I believe the title was TV slash wall mount installation. I believe it was. You, I saw that. I saw yeah. that. Um, I think I liked that, didn't I? You did, yeah. I believe you shared it as well. So I appreciate that. Because we shared, um, yep. Because we just became friends today for some reason. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was weird. I, I noticed it this morning. I was up for coffee and I was like, we're not even friends on Facebook. Like, how are we? And I thought we were we were adding each other like the first couple of days, all on all the stuff. And I was just like, what is this? Some kind of cut? And then we couldn't even like each other's stuff. It was like you couldn't. I couldn't even add you as a friend. Did you? What was that anyway? Was that sorry? I was like, I, I, I noticed that, you know, when we earlier today on Facebook, I yeah. couldn't even add you as a friend. What, did you find what was going on with that? Um, so I believe essentially like I think it, it was it was setting wise. So there's a setting, I believe it says only allow friends of friends. Which I assume yours is the ah, same way. OK. Yeah, because yeah, I wasn't able to find. OK, it. I was thinking it was some old country code stuff or something like that. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, no, it was, uh, yeah, it's like I managed to figure it out, so we're now friends on Facebook. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Got to see your Christmas tree and your daughter and yeah, all that yeah, stuff, yeah. and then finally that nice advertisement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, uh, I'm but, sorry, uh, I'm, I'm trying to, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, no, back to the advertisement, though, so I, I posted, I think, like I said, it was an ad, I believe it said TV slash well-known installation. Um, so I posted that on all the buy and sell groups, all the market, like on the marketplace and whatnot. Um, and I believe Ooh. if I'm correct, I'm going to actually check back right now. Just give me a second here. But I believe it had like within the first day or so, it had something like 80 views. Um, see good. Here. Very yeah. good. Let me see. So I have, I should try to find it here. Um, yeah, so right now yeah, it has 144 lists or listing views, and it's been up for about I'd say three or four days. So, where did you put it at? It was on Marketplace, besides, uh, um, on Marketplace, yeah, cool. so Marketplace and all the buy and sell local buy and sell groups and stuff. So, mm. yeah, good, 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 good. Yeah, I mean, I, I was rejected by a few just because they don't allow ad advertisements, but for the most part, I've got most of my views from the buy and sell groups. Good yeah, to go, you, good to go. Yeah, you got to keep even, posting on those con uh, continuously, though. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, even this home theater job was was from that that advertisement. So, I mean, people are going out of the wow. scope of the ad just to ask if I do certain things, right? And Good. I got, I also got a lady messaged me yesterday um, to install an old school stereo. So, I mean, it's, it's all over the place, right? So, yeah. yeah. This is the, well, this is what I was talking about last week, man. Like, yeah, it's weird. People don't have the capacity for this ever evolving tech. Um, you know, you're down, you have people that are still down, to, uh, you know, needing stereos replaced. I told you I had a guy that had a freaking, he had a wireless router from 2006 last week. You know, he, this is a service yeah. that people yeah. need. Um, it's not about this. What, that's why I like our podcast name that we came up with. It was just the techerpreneur, because the truth is a lot of us techs, um, people that were techs like you, you came from the best file field. You knew about the home automation stuff as it was coming up since 2014. Um, yeah. You know, me, I come from the casino field. I deal with currency counting machines and stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. we're all in the bowels of these places, you know, giving trickles of our information to people um, yeah. because there's so damn much of it, isn't it? Like it's, 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 yeah. it's insane. And this is why this is so important for, you know, this is not for any technician or any AV guy, any camera guy who wants to come into this scope of being uh, an, uh, 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 an entrepreneur and opening their own business, um, exactly. uh, the ocean is out there. There is no competition here. Like there is no competition. The, the automation uh, things that I found on Facebook, um, 
uh, are usually, you know, from Pakistan or somewhere in Iran or something like that. You're the first guy that I know, you know, on this side of the planet that, you know, reached out and like, you know, I have just plenty of automation yeah. groups, but people are real segmented, you know, exactly. people are really pushy about their whatevers. And it's just yeah. like, you know, I, I don't need that. I need a genuine, honest, people need a genuine, honest guy that, you know, can help them with their technical issues because, and that's another thing, you know, this all bleeds into people need cameras, people need locks, people need, people, people want their TV to talk to the camera, to show the lock, the blah, 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 blah. The integration of it is insane. And there's a lot to know about it and no one's doing it. No exactly. one's doing it. I mean, you say Best Buy or something like that, but what, you know, these are people working for somebody else's shit. So how invested into it um, are they versus somebody like me and you who, yeah. you know, you know, you, you, your daughter don't eat if you don't, if, if, you know, if you're not answering these questions and you're not hanging these TVs. So, you know, it's very, very, very good industry to get into. You'll find a lot of that. A lot of people that will, you know, oh gosh, I, I, you mean any laptop repairs I do? Just random laptop repairs and pet. Uh, by the way, eighty dollars for a laptop is just. Yeah, anyway, yeah, no, too much exactly. of a ramble, but you get it, you know. <laughs> no, I feel it. Yeah. No, I um, just like just on that though, like it's the fact of the matter is it's it's twenty twenty, and we're at where we're at right now with it, right? But I mean, it's just gonna keep going up. Things are going to get more advanced. Things are going to get more complicated. And they need people to Dude, understand it all. to so. say the least. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, it's just, like as you said, there's things talking to this, talking to that, and they're all, all integrated, right? But nobody knows how to do it or essentially what they're, what they're doing in, like, multiple devices in the same home. And things are just getting Exactly. And, and get... we all know pieces of it. Oh, exactly. sorry. Go ahead. And, and, like, at the end of the day, like, if – Let's say just a regular regular person that doesn't know a whole lot about it. They try to set up three or four devices in their house, and then all of a sudden things just get jumbled, right? And like they need someone like us to yep. figure out how to unjumble that so it's so it works properly. So I mean, it's there's always going to be that's another sector too. Like the yeah, the, yeah. the the troubleshooting of these things. You put in somebody's Blink or Eufy cameras, they're going to die in a year. So yeah, somebody's exactly. got a there's a service industry for that. You can. I, I was thinking about doing that uh, for the gym client that I was telling you about, you know, where basically you pay me, I don't know, you pay me, I don't know, $50 every six months. And for that, I come over and I just literally take your cameras down and charge them. I replace the batteries and the cameras, whatever. It's a hustle. I mean, yeah, yeah. Is it a grinder? Is that, cause that's the problem. You get all, all these things that they, that'll happen. There's plenty of ways to make money, but there's only one you and you only have two of these. Um, exactly. and a, you know, finite amount of energy. So you'll get into all that stuff later too. Like, you know, uh, what happens? I had a bit of a uh, podcast. I got a thing on Instagram where I just, I basically talked to a camera while I'm in the car and I was yeah. talking about, um, everybody talks about when businesses fail, like, you know, but what happens when businesses fail the opposite way? You know, yeah. if you, you know, if, if, uh, for instance, like, you know, you get this, um, big oh shit, uh, Phillips Hue job. And let's just say that if you, you figure it out, you figure out that some kind of networking thing happens and you know, you gotta, you gotta do a bunch of different things, maybe like some electrical work that you don't know. Now you gotta yeah. hire a guy. How are you gonna pay, how are you gonna put that in your budget? Like all this stuff needs exactly. to be talked about. We need an, it, it shouldn't be two of us. It should be, I mean, it's already, we're already stepping over each other, but you know what I mean? We need a network of people that have, uh, Sort of like the Gundam or the Megazord, like the five yeah. pieces that come together and make the super robot, you know? Exactly. Because yeah. uh, it's it's just too much, man. Like, uh, yeah, you know, our, all our YouTube buddies up there, you know, your Paul Hibberts and your and your Brian's and your Reeds, you know, they each have certain sectors that exactly. they try to broadcast about, and we as technicians, you know each need to find our niche and actually uh, establish some kind of inter interdependent connection with each other. Um, yeah, thanks to the, exactly. you know, thanks to the power of the mighty internet, you know, I, and it, that, that really needs, it's, this is a call to action really that needs to happen and it needs to happen now because exactly. there are a lot of people that are in the dark with a, with, with, with this, this, a lot of people in the dark with 4k TVs that have no idea 
about anything about them. Like TVs have their own interfaces now. I can use my TV as a computer. All you need is one of those little, exactly. uh, you know, one of those little keyboard things. Like it's, it's, it's a lot for, um, and I don't want to downgrade, you know, the general population on this. It's a different, it's a different podcast. I'm not going to slam that, but the population needs that. You know, population exactly. needs things to be sort of watered down. They have to, you know, remember how to keep a mask on and stuff like that. It takes them six months to learn how to do that. So you get it, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and like you said, like, in the end of the day, it comes down to, like, there's parts to the whole industry, right? So, I mean, everybody has their own skill set. You put that together and it makes the end. So, I mean, it's, it is needed, like you said. Highly, highly. Yeah, good. yeah. But, yeah, no, I mean, so, it's... Yeah, no, go ahead. I know. I'm so I want to talk to you. Cause one of the things I've been interested in, because you know, you didn't have you didn't you didn't have customers last time. Now you have three. So exactly. it's like, what did you do? How's the talking? How's the talking? How are you closing your deals? Um, so I mean essentially, like I said, just the experience I have, right? Like just retail. Um, so I mean I just brought that over to what I'm doing now. It, it pretty much just flows out naturally to me. So you know how like, I just, I, I message you here and there on, on messengers. So I just talk to them same way, basically saying like, Hey, like, you know, you're right. a regular person. I'm a regular person. Let's talk. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, so I, I, that's my biggest roadblock. I was never a good talker. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, it's just like, I said, it's, it's not like, anything any science or anything to it is basically i just I, it's not uh not any training or anything so dude you're not a shy guy it means versus me i've probably read about i say about five or six books on just learning how to talk in body language alone because you know yeah. I'm a, I don't, I'm a nerd. I, I'm in the bowels of the casino. I'm in the bowels of the places, you know, you don't, yeah. don't talk to me because I'm going to give you too much tech jargon and stuff like that. You know, I, I had to learn how to do all the communicating and stuff like that and how to not be afraid to close deals on people that, you know, don't understand the technology because I have that problem too, you know, like I yeah. talked about this last week, you know, you talk to yeah. people about these things. First of all, you had to work up the courage to do it. But yep. then, you know, you start talking to people about um, multi-port HDMI hubs. They're just, you know, you get the, you get the pie in the sky going on. Exactly. There, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so no, that's, that's good that you just have that. You're a person. I'm a person. This yeah. is what you, you, I know some stuff that you need to know. What's up? Exactly. I like it. I like it. And I mean, and I started off the same way you were now. And I'm just, like I said, I'm, I'm still that way. I just kind of find the way to kind of disguise it and you know so it's i mean it, it is something should times, be talked but, about too yeah exactly i mean it, it does take some some work and whatnot right so i mean I've, I've been at that that aspect of it i've been doing it for the last i'd say seven or eight years so good experience good stuff yeah good stuff. Exactly. You got good stuff. i mean you you approached me like i would never have thought to go into one of these uh, group forums uh, yeah. and approach somebody aside, you know, aside from some surface level stuff, because you know somebody could snag your IP address or something like you don't know, like you just you, you're scared of this stuff, you know. But you you're right there, up, dude. You know what you know about that? Like, go ahead. To be to be completely fair on that though, that wasn't me. That was Gary V in my head telling me to contact you. All right, so. I mean, I've watched way too many of the videos <laughs> and he just tells me to reach out to everybody. So I just, I had to, I seen, I seen the post. And I'm just I like, can you just know imagine what? that German face, just like, do it, do it. Exactly. Do it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I mean, as you can see, it worked out for the best, right? So yeah. For real. Oh so, yeah. Uh, oh man. I hope I didn't lose him. Nope. Okay. I'm right here. Cool, cool. You faded out on my screen this for a second. Okay, cool, cool. Right. But yeah, 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 that's that's what's up, man. That's what's up. I just want to talk about this too while while we're at it. So I have the list. Sure. For the best cameras of twenty twenty. And I think I think there's another part to it actually. Give me a second in here. Okay, yeah. So I got the best cameras of twenty twenty. And if you want to take a guess at these, 
I have the best overall. Any idea what you think it is? Are we talking uh, like residential or like oh, yeah. these uh, are like all in like the business things area? You can, yeah, things you can buy at Best Buy. The best camera of 2020. That's best overall. Dude, I mean, just from my own experience, I only got experience with like five cameras. I, uh, I would say Yuffie. I was no. uh, I would say no, excuse me, not Yuffie. I would say Arlo, the Arlo HD uh, Ultra, the 4K one yeah. is by far. It, it has everything you need, everything. But what is it? You were you were close. I'm surprised you didn't get this one. It's the Wisecam V3. Are you serious? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I have one literally on my and I, and you know what? It is a really good camera. That yeah. camera uh, from the V2. I'm talking to you on a V2 right now, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. and that picture is good. The V3 scaled up to 130 degrees. Uh, it's got a siren. It's got a. Uh, it's weatherproof. You don't need an outside thing for it now. The only thing that it didn't fix on it was the uh, 32 gigabyte memory card capacity. But it still is a sweet little thing for ev everybody. Everybody. Everybody and. Every resident should have one of those. Anyway, go ahead. I'm yeah. sorry. What's number yeah. two? <laughs> number two. So it's the best home kit secure camera. I mean, this is not really a common one there, but I mean, can we just go ahead and name it or do you want to try give it a guess? Go ahead. Yeah. The, the Natmo. I thought you said home kit. I'm like, ugh. Yeah, and the Natmo indoor, the indoor camera, smart camera, which I found. I don't Nano? know. Not, it, the Natmo. I'm not really familiar with myself, so I'm not sure. Never heard of where, that, no. Where that came from, yeah. But uh, anyways, we'll move on to the next one. So the best best features. And this one's surprising, I sold at Walmart. Walmart. I haven't seen these in Walmart in Canada, so I, I feel that's a US thing. What's that, what they call it? What's that? What are they? What's this camera called? This one at it's, Walmart. It's the Nest Cam IQ. Never heard of. Never seen that at Walmart. I mean, they have. Well, yeah. Walmart's really partial to Google anyway. Yeah. Um, uh, but they do have a lot of indoor Nest Cams there. But I never seen the Nest Cam IQ. Huh? No, yeah, I've never actually heard of it in Canada at all. So I mean, I feel like that's a U.S. thing. Mm. Sounds like some corporate tinkering is going on on this list. Where'd you get this list from? <laughs> this, is, this is a CNET list. So I feel like it's, you know. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's trusted. <laughs> like I said, I feel like you maybe have seen most of these in the US, but I have, haven't seen a whole lot of these in Canada. So I don't know. No. Um, anyways, the I'm just going to kind of go through the, the rest of the list there. Um, so the yeah you know, the best security camera is the Wise Cam, the best video doorbell is the Arlo doorbell. Um, the best Google yeah, Assistant, definitely. yeah, best Google Assistant camera again is the Nest Cam IQ. Um, and I just want to reiterate, it's the indoor version of the Nest Cam, not the outdoor. Mm -hmm. The indoor version. I can see and that. And the best best outdoor camera is the Arlo Pro Three. The Pro Three, I didn't see that, so that's that's not surprising. Yeah, yeah, I can see that because I mean that came out. I didn't, I didn't use one of those yet, but I'm sure they're like if the first one that R, that Ultra HD is that good, I'm sure that one is like insane. I think that if I remember one spec about, it, I think it records in 2K, which is, you know, still a step above pretty much every other security camera who only does like 1080p. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Ooh. But uh, yeah, so that's the list. Did you uh, hear anything else you wanted to throw out there? Or? Oh, I could talk all day. Um, <laughs> so we talked a little earlier about the different branches, and this is only entrepreneurial tip, not the tech tip. Yeah. Um, the different branches of things that you get get into, like um, I, you know, you have you have a Dodge Grand Caravan. But, yeah. By the way, we should switch Dodge from Grand Caravans because I want the black one. I yeah. always wondered because my sign would look better on the black one. But uh, yeah. what color is yours? Um, 
I got I got the I got the white one, and the way my sign okay. is, I have uh, the bottom of it is white and the top of it is blue, so it doesn't yeah. look right as a decal on the car. So I got to do a different. You know what? One. That's actually ironic. Cause I was looking for a white one, because most of my logo is ah! black, and it wouldn't actually show up in my van. Most of your logo is black. It is. By the way, I do love your logo. I do love that KPS yeah. like that. That's that's yeah. dope. That's really that was, dope. That was a professional logo. I had to actually pay some money for that one, so I didn't make that one myself. How much? How much um, you had to pay? It was 120 Canadian. So roughly 100 US, I think it was would be. Oh, my wife could have did. My wife could have did. You can you get your logo for like 40 bucks over here, man. My wife did mine for free, man. I wish I would have known you like the couple when you got it yeah. done. You know, yeah. he gave you a deal. <laughs> and I actually went through, uh, so I paid the first person, I think it was 80, and then I, another guy afterwards. Uh, did, I, did I lose you again? My, it's saying, sorry about that. My, say yeah. my internet connection is unstable. Say that again. Yeah, so I paid, I went and paid one person 80 bucks, and then they screwed it up. So I didn't go back and pay another person 120 bucks. So in, in total, it, it would be, it's a $200 logo, basically. But I mean, I like the way it turned out. So it's, yeah. It's really nice. Like, uh, are you going to get it trademarked and everything like that? Have you gotten into all that stuff? Mm, not really. No, I haven't really thought of that, to be honest. Okay. Just be careful. From what I, I, I look at a lot of YouTube videos on business and stuff like yeah. that. You know, getting this stuff off the ground, you better, you got to, you, you better dunk your whole head into that shit, man. It's really tough. Um, yeah. But one of the things they talk about is, um, First of all, you know, just registering your name and trademarking your name, which they say takes about six months, it's about seven hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, just, I would suggest to do, especially for somebody, well, at least for somebody like me, because you know, Houston's home automation. I mean, it's just my last name, but there's an entire city in America with about five million people in it. That's you got the name Houston, so I better hurry up and you know exactly. get on that before you know people in Texas just stomp on me. But. Um, you know, I would look into getting the, you, they say get the name trademarked. It's not one of those things that's like super, uh, taxes are way more important than it. But, you know, it's yeah. one of those things that, like I say about a year in, um, yeah. we should look into doing um, 100%. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, the only really legal thing I've looked into is what me and you spoke about on, on Messenger, which I'm not going to get into. Of but, course, uh, of course, of course. Yeah. Listen, really the only we held up the Google truck and we stole all the supplies. Just to keep it just to keep it public, and we're selling them. Pat Houston and KPS, <laughs> we got thousands, thousands of these Google Home dongles. That's why oh, we yeah. talk about it on the open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, no, that's that's really as far as I've I've gotten legal as. So, I mean, it's not. Yeah. All right, so yeah. I do got something that I just wrote down. Let's talk oh. about the future. What you got going on in the next month or, or in the next uh, uh, month or so? Um. Just pushing, basically. All the stuff I've been doing, just kind of amplifying it times 10 and kind of just pushing it. It's basically, that's now, basically the plan. Cool. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's that's what I, I just, I mean, so this is your number one source of income. Like, are you doing anything else on the side? You know, we were talking about the litany of other jobs. I just... Yeah. I moved my mother and my mother and father-in-law out. Uh, it was a the biggest truck they could buy, and it was two of them. And it was a two-story walk-up that I had to move them out of. And then I posted yeah. it on tell you about the Silk Power social media. I posted it on social media, and I got two more requests for people they wanted to use my Dodge or get a U-Haul for me to me and my son to move them out. Yeah, and that, that just shows the power of advertising. So that's what I'm doing next week. I'm gonna. I'm going to break my back in yeah. half, you know, <laughs> helping some friends move and stuff like that, you know. Uh, I mean, income wise, like I said, it's, I'm aiming for it to be the single source. Um, but again, what we spoke about on, on Messenger and stuff like that, right? So that's. I forgot. forgot. I'm, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. But I mean, I'm trying to kind of get out of that. So. You're doing, Uber, you're doing Uber up there? They got Uber and like Lyft and stuff like that up there? Uh, not where I'm at now. They do an hour away. So it was just the closest big city, so not. Uh, oh, no, they, you gotta they take do that. Have, yeah. They do have a um, like I think it's kind of similar to Uber Eats, um, but they call it kangaroo. 
So I mean, that's the closest. Okay, that's yeah. a that's a Canadian thing. Never heard of that. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, that's that's what we got. But no, I mean, the thing for you is, you know, she says an hour away. So you know, you gotta you do the cost benefit analysis. So what I wanted to suggest to you was what I've been doing is when on my off time, well, actually I have a certain two hour block where I, I do exclusively Uber and what I do, not Uber, but Lyft, that's what they have in the, uh, in the US, yeah. um, where I do Lyft from like 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. And what I've been doing is, you know, those little nets in the back of the seats, I yeah. put my flyers, let me show you. I got my flyers right here. I put my flyers in the back of the seats and I do the, um, I do the uh, uh, the lift, you know. If the, if if the conversation moves into it, then then you you know you don't pedal it, you don't pedal it, you know. You just the conversation moves into it. Oh, cameras! I know something about cameras. You need somebody to watch something like that. I can I can do that for you. And then you, you you throw it in there. You slide the business card in, and you go in real smooth. Now I can tell you about a story about that. Like that that's how I got this customer. Uh, where I did the blink cameras for him and his wife. You know, I just, yeah. I picked them up. It was one of those quick shopping Acme type of things real quick. And, um, you know, we got the talking, you know, I actually canceled my ride, my next ride, because I was talking to him for so long. And we ended up, I ended up scoring a deal on a $250 uh, blink camera setup, four, uh, four blink camera setup. Nice. Now, so he's got, you know, it's a, well, yeah, it's just, and, and that's how it works. Yo, yo hustle i hate you you, you, exactly. you want to you scream gary v for me it's uh it's grant cardone i'm really hard on grant yeah. cardone and i'm um but i mean they are right i mean every waking moment every yeah, make every exactly. waking moment you yeah. figure it out you gotta fix this is my, my family don't eat if i don't if we don't exactly. get this right your family don't eat there's consequences like to, that's yeah. some serious stuff it really yeah. is yeah and i mean it's at the end of the day it's it's up to you, right? Because I mean, you're in control of that whole, that whole situation. So you could, the outcome is, is yep. essentially on you. So it's, yeah. Yep. Yep. But yeah. Yeah. Like they yeah. say, they say, you know, we're doing good. I think in the future, like talking about the future, we're definitely doing good yep. because, you know, our criteria is good. You, you know, me and you, we have the passion. Yeah, uh, for sure. we, we're, we, we have the knowledge. We're willing to invest the time. And this is definitely, which is the most important, something that the public needs. So I'll see you, yeah. and we'll be racing our Zondas versus our Ferraris because <laughs> we're going to get there if we don't lose our hair yeah, and have yeah. giant headaches from <laughs> all the freaking technical stuff that we got to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah, no, it's uh, yeah, no, it's it's definitely getting real, and it's this this whole COVID thing kind of amplified it times ten, right? Like it's just. People need it more than ever now. Yep. Everybody's stuck in home and everybody's basically getting lazy and they want their home automated. So it's that that's true. essentially what fueled my idea. And that's that's why I started when I started. Um, I don't know how what your your situation is or the story behind it, but I mean that's basically why I said, Hey, I'm gonna do this now. But well, same difference, you know, I had enough time to think like you. I you know, COVID happened. And you're sitting at home for a bit and you yeah. start to, th you get to thinking and you're going like, okay, well, I'm doing this with my life right now. And, you know, you forget because, you know, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know how your schooling system was, but I, I was very low income, low city income school district and stuff like that. So you weren't taught to be an individual. You were taught to be a cog in the machine. You were taught to be part of somebody else's. Exactly. Vote. Um, and what ended up what ends up happening is you think like that. You don't think about any of your potential. You don't think about any of the, any of the things that you can do as you. The fact that you can build a computer and that's second nature to you. Well, there only one in sixty people can do that. The other fifty nine people need that computer built. You know, if there wasn't you know Hellwood Packard and whoever else that builds computers, you get the idea. But um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. But so it's like you move on. You move on with that, and you just start to think like. You know, damn, like, I mind, well, you know, you, 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 you have the, you have the, the pandemic and stuff like that. This, 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 this business is elastic. It's, it's going past the pandemic. The only reason why uh, we're slow now is because, you know, it's not okay to be in people's faces, but thank God for the internet. We're going to make it. Oh, yeah. We're going to make it. 
And as I said, that's the, this, that's the call to action. And as I said, this this Go whole ahead, thing is, is basically going to just boost it, if anything, right? Like people are going to realize afterwards that hey, hey anything can happen, and they're going to essentially prepare for it. So it's yeah, no, it's it's we're going far no matter what. Like it'll it'll continue and continue into the future. Yeah, yeah, I think we're good. I think our business plan. We and that's another thing we get, we should talk about real quick. Um, you know, so I'm wrote a rough draft on a business plan. They say you're supposed to do that. Yeah. Um, so I did a basically a one page business plan, and my charge um, is actually vague. It's not even like the Houston's home automation. My charge is generally to help people uh, make their house intuitive. Yeah, uh, that's my charge to action. I want, I don't want you to have to touch a light switch. I don't. W- I want you to have to. I want it like the future. You know, I am robot like, or 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 that Tom Cruise movie where the advertisements were targeting just him. Yeah. Uh, is it minority report? I don't know. Anyway, uh, but I want. I want the. I want when you wake up in the morning and whatever you want to play, whatever you're thinking of, literally, is on the TV. The the the, the information you need is on the TV. Once you are you the, the nice music that you need. Once you get up, that music follows you in the bathroom. You get you go downstairs to get your coffee, and then it knows the other routine, and it's just updating you. And you having all your little things that you need to have, and I think that'll make the 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 the, the, the grand idea is to make. Um, you more efficient yeah. and more refined as a human being to get away from the minutia, the, 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 the time wasting things of, you know, finding keys when you have a tile remote, the, exactly. uh, the, 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 the time wasting things of all that stuff, like that stuff needs to go away. And I, that, that's what I want to capitalize on. That's solving a problem that will make mankind better to yeah. automate these little nuisances. You know, if your house is cold, you know, how many kids get a cold because the heat goes off at night, yeah. you know, and the kid woke, wakes up with the sniffles and stuff like that. That stuff can be fixed with home automation. It'll exactly. make us better as a, as a human race. That's why, that's yeah. why it's, a, it's, it's just something to get into. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we... Right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to take the honors of ending this thing? Or... Ah. Uh... Wait, say it again. Take the honors. Of, oh, oh, okay, yeah. guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That that thing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That whole thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So KPS home, KPS automations, right? KPS automations. Home automation. So KPS yeah. automations, home automations. Like them. Let me say that right again. KPS home automations. Like them on Facebook and Instagram. He's doing some cool yeah. stuff. Uh, I'm Houston, Patrick Houston, Houston's home automation. We mount TVs, we move out houses, we put up lighting bars, we do everything under the sun. Please, our families need to eat. <laughs> anyway, and I'll, take I'll care, guys. We'll see you next week. Yeah. I'll link it in the description <laughs> below there. So, see ya. <laughs> <laughs>